what are the options that you guys offer for freezing? Just so I know for the cryonics process at Alcor, that's your company, yeah. Alcor. And what, what, what are the, the options? Like what's the packages? I should say, by when you say my, a company, it's actually a, a nonprofit organization. We're a 501c tax exempt nonprofit organization. Okay. And that's important to us because uh, as a profit making company, I've got nothing against that, but it, it tends to not survive very long if you look at them historically. Whereas nonprofits, educational organizations, religious organizations, they can survive for centuries. That's why we're set up that way. So we, wow. nobody actually makes profits from this. We, you know, we have salary stuff, but nobody, nobody makes profits. It's um, fat. Well, it, it, I love that, man. It's fascinating. Because, yeah, I mean, you guys are basically like, um, like death, like Magellans. I mean, you guys are out there just like, you know. That's a, that's a good analogy. I think that's a good analogy because when people say, well, what kind of people do this? Um, well, there are a number of factors, but one of them that's really critical is you have to be an explorer. I mean, if you think about, uh, I've talked to so many people about this and uh, those who say, well, yeah, I can I can see how this could work. This is not implausible. And then they go, but oh my God, this might work. That's That's scary. Because they think about coming back into a future, maybe a hundred years from now, everything's radically different. Their skills are outdated. They don't, don't know anybody, and it horrifies them. Yeah, which I think is one big reason why there aren't more people doing this. Uh, it tends to appeal to people who have, you know, a Magellan type personality, an explorer personality, who look on that and say, "Well, yeah, it's going to take some getting used to." Although the organization, part of its mission is to help you get, you know, rehabilitated. Yeah, you got to be brave because you're going to go see your buddy, and he's going to be like seventy years older. Or you're gonna go, or he's gonna be gone. All your like, a lot of your friends might be gone. Or say, if you died at like 21 and you got frozen, you come back 40 years later. You're gonna go over to your friend's house. He's gonna be 60. You know, it's like everything's gonna be actually probably not that because the, again, the technology we're talking about to re, to reverse all the damage that's been done by that point that you've legally died, plus the extra damage done in the process, we will fix the aging problem before we bring people back. So at least your friend, yeah, they may be 80 years older, but they won't look 80 years older. Oh. But yeah, there'll still be that huge gap in experience, obviously. Now, it's better if you can persuade your friends and family to come with you. Which, yeah. You know, I know quite a few people. I know a number of people who already cry preserved and I have my wife has signed up for this and a lot of my friends are. So I don't have that problem so much. I know some people, but not everybody will. But you know, I'd still rather come back not knowing anybody. I mean, I I came you from think? I came from England to Los Angeles back in the eighties, and I didn't really know anybody, and and it was a weird place here. You had this kind of bright object shining from the sky instead of water falling on me, which is what, what's up with that? <laughs> people driving yeah, on the wrong came, side. Yeah. People driving on the wrong side of the road and stuff. But <laughs> we I came over here, yeah, in the seventeen hundreds, and we didn't know anybody. Yeah, you exactly. know, um, exactly. It's like a journey through time instead of a journey through space. Dude, that's so, there's so many things going on here, man. So, but also you're going to bring your wife, bro. That's a risky move, huh? <laughs> Why is that risky? I mean, I think it's great. I think it's very honorable and it's very, it's, it's very sweet and kind. But what if like, dude, you know, it just, see, you got to really be dialed in for like, you know. Because you only said what for light? What is the vow? It's like oh, we didn't do that one though. No. Oh, it's till death do us part. You should have said till legal we death did, do us part. Yeah, we didn't do that one because we have a problem with the idea of death. So uh, no, it does bring up some interesting questions because yeah, I mean, okay, you've got fifty years together, seventy years together. Okay, but what about a thousand years together? <laughs> so, but you know, we'll worry about that when it when it yeah. comes to it. Yeah, that's a good call. So yeah, you have to think of these people. Yeah, because you, I think in the simplistic mind which I happen to possess, thankfully for the both of us. Um, it's, you just think like the, 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 an, the animal, the, the, the Neanderthal thoughts are like, I'm going to live forever. Uh, I'm going to come back. But you don't think about after that. Like, do you, like, what do you guys do? Do you guys just give them like a bus ticket, like out of prison or whatever? Or do you guys like, like what, where, where do you put them at? Is there like a re-entry program? Uh, yes or no. I mean, no, in the sense that this is still so far off that we can't really, we can't really figure out. We don't even know who will make the decision to bring you back. I mean, will it be our organization? Will it be some kind of, you know, uh, a government ethic, ethics panel of universities or a government thing? We don't. Wow. We, we don't even know that, right? So we can't really plan in too much detail. But yes, we do think about it, and we. It's part of our mission statement. You go to the website, look at our mission statement. Part of that is not just to wake you up and kind of shove you out the door and say, "Good luck, man." Yeah. No, we're going to actually rehabilitate you. Yeah, just, here's a hand warmer. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah, I mean, today think about it. Today there are people who've been in comas for years, even decades. Uh, if you have seen the movie Awakenings with Robert De Niro, Robert I Williams. just watched that movie a couple of oh. months ago. Can we bring some of that up? 
That's fascinating. Yeah, based on, on, on the book by Oliver Sacks. So these were people who were basically uh, in, a, in a special kind of coma. Basically, their dopamine levels in the brain were really low. They were like frozen statues, not really aware of the passage of time. Some of them like that for more than, the, more than a decade or two. And when they were woken up, uh, of course, for some of them, it was pretty horrifying because they'd suddenly aged overnight. Uh, yeah. So a little like that. So in our case, it would be the opposite of that. Uh, of course, you look in the mirror and go, damn, I look good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right, because people would be excited because you would be bringing them back in. So what you're saying is you're going to be bringing people back into their best self. Exactly. Because so of technology. Help. Right, that'll that that'll help because you'll come back not feeling crappy like when you when you uh, cease to function. You'll come back feeling the best self. Plus, we are there to help you out. We're going to rehabilitate whatever that will mean at the time. It might mean, um, you know, we're going to put you in some virtual reality environment to sort of train how the world works before you step out in front of that wow. flying car or whatever. You know, uh, we don't really know what things will be like 100 years from now. Nobody does. Anybody who says they do is lying because you just can't forecast that far ahead. Except yeah, for future people. Terms. If somebody says they're from the future, bro, they're probably lying. Hope you enjoyed that video and you can watch another and you can watch this one. You can watch this one. Different options, different choices. Some guy just brings you one option, not this guy. Two options. Watch one. This one or this one.